Welcome to Myanmar Musings, a podcast of the Myanmar Research Centre at the Australian National University, Canberra. I'm Luke Corbin, and it is the 28th of July, 2021. And today we're bringing you a live recorded seminar from the Myanmar Update Conference held earlier this month with Dr. Mimi Jaw speaking about the socioeconomic challenges of Iowati River fishermen due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Mimi Jaw is an academic and PhD graduate of the University of Mandalay, and her research interests include fisheries resources, dolphin conservation, water resources, environmental health, and social impact assessments and biodiversity conservation. It was the Myanmar Update's privilege and pleasure to host Mimi Jaw from Myanmar to give this talk. And her panel was convened by Professor Veronica Taylor of the Australian National University. Welcome back, and I'm really delighted to introduce to you a terrific uh, panel of speakers. Uh, we have uh, Dr Mimi Chaw, who's an independent expert and an experienced researcher, educator and university lecturer, whose work focuses on ecological, environmental and socioeconomic issues. Uh, we'll turn immediately now and uh, invite the presentation from Mimi. Thank you. Good day to you all. Regarding my FDA 2021 conference, let me introduce myself. I am Mimi Jo from Myanmar. Today, I would like to present one of my research talks. It is socioeconomic challenges of local fishermen due to the pandemic. History Chomyong segment Iyari River, Myanmar. My presentation is divided into five main parts. Introduction, problem identification, research objective and key question, material method and discussion, result discussion and conclusion. There are a lot of socioeconomic challenges of local fishermen in Chongmyong segment Iyawi River, Myanmar. Here after I mentioned the story area. In pandemic, during the pandemic, there are challenges to going outside, especially stay at home during your lockdown. For example, fishing, handling, selling, transporting from one area to other. This is leading to a crisis on socioeconomic situation of local fishermen. According to discussion with the local fishermen at the target seven villages in the, seven, in the study area, we are discussing about the reason, the main reason for their declining income. The first thing is declining the fishing rates due to IUU fishing, illegal, unreported, unregulated fishing as electric fishing, all fish to increasing the death rate as the eradication of from the fingerling as jack to large fish as steroid. And second point is the higher rate of spreading COVID-19. It is not allowed to go outside. At the same time, the price of fish is very low and it is no export as well as the lower demand from the local market. According to the discussion and survey at the study sites, there are socioeconomic challenges. According to the discussion with them, look at fishermen, about 70, about 60% at the first week and 80% at the second week and about 90% at the third week due to COVID-19. Fishermen are facing the socioeconomic challenges. That's why the rest of the fishermen have changed the other job as well. That's why in this task, it is quite important for the stakeholder mapping to conserve fishery resources as well as to applicate the socio-economic situation of local fishermen for the sake of all community, especially beyond COVID-19. There are problems. No opportunity for fishing, but few persons are exceptional case. Are you fishing? And need, that's why we need to have the restriction and rule and regulation not to catch fit in fish breeding season, especially May, June, July in Myanmar. We stay hold on mapping. That's why. It's a latest relief, the conservation approach to implement as well as to initiate rule regulation on method. That's why challenges are emerging. The sustainability of the rivery ecosystem and land fishery sector and socioeconomic situation of local fishermen community. In the, it aims to accomplish two goals. The first goal is research and second goal is development. In Myanmar, it's a still weak research and development R&D. The research objectives are to mitigate the socioeconomic challenges due to COVID. 
to inform local community that any of our stronger knowledge base evaluation and to improve the socio-economic saturation of local fishermen community. Key question, what are the potential factors for the practice of socio-economic challenges due to COVID? And which is the best way to solve this? Matthias Matastashian, I used quantitative and qualitative research method for socioeconomic challenges of local fishermen community during the pandemic. Beyond the COVID-19, I will use impoverishment risks and reconstruction IRR model. That's why public awareness. Raising the public awareness is vital important to encourage, to enhance the local community with the stakeholder mapping, scientists, researchers like us, decision maker, policy maker, and local fishermen community. All of these stakeholders are cooperated as an integrated action agreement between made and client with commitment and capacity enhancement. All of these talks are heading toward the SDGs, Sustainable Development Goal. This is the starry area, Chaomyeong Township and Chaomyeong segment, Yauri River, Myanmar. This is the study size. Actually, there are 14 villages in the Chaomyeong Township. The green color, only seven green color are having the fishermen. The rest, yellow color, are not having the fishermen community. That's why I focus on the seven villages. Kalama, Sevenchon, Macau, Mala, Maul, Kwata Wen, and Kwata Ho. These seven villages have the fishermen communities. This is the evidence of the, my discussion with the local fishermen community. I take the survey record there. I collect the experience and knowledge from them. And this is a stakeholder mapping in this area. This table shows the percentage of challenges in the target village. Kalama village, there are 20 households. Sevenchon, 10 households. Macau, 35 households. Mala, 18 households. Mau village, 45 households. Quarter one, 40 households and quarter for 15 households. At the first wave, according to my socio-economic survey record, it's my own creation, and percentage of, I mentioned here, percentage of, that I have found in the first wave, around the 60 and over. At the second wave, about the 70, approaching 80. At the third wave, 90% to 95%. This is the percentage of challenges. This also, whatever and however, when I implement the research tasks, all of my research tasks are more or less directly related with the sustainable development goal. In this research task, there are at least 10 goals are related with my research. These are mentioned with the green color. This is my own creation of the socioeconomic survey record. I compare in the past and present. According to the situation of the past and present, I can make the scenario for the future. I collect the survey record in the study villages in my study area. I focus in the beta research of the Iauri River. It's mentioned the study area is Changmyeong segment. I focus on not only the extreme, socio-economic challenges, but also the downstream socio-economic challenges. And may I mainly focus on the middle reach of the socio-economic challenges and due to the pandemic and IU fishing as well as the transportation. That's why I focus on the three main pillars, environment, economic, and social. All three, these three pillars are are uh, collaborated and cooperated with the variable, equitable variable to the code concept to be sustainable state. That's why I would like to conclude my presentation. We need to, I would like to conclude, we need to be monitoring the socioeconomic challenges due to pandemic, as well as after the pandemic, and observing the source of the challenges and stakeholder mapping through the SDI coordinator, science, technology, and innovation. We need to raise the public awareness for COVID-19 that we need to, also we need to the sustainable development goal regarding the SDGs. I would like to make the recommendation for my future talks. 
it is necessary to have the identify, identifying risk, social, environmental, and economic. In both enrichment risk and reconstruction, IR, moral, EIE, SIE, and so on. In doing so, decision maker preference on infrastructure, positive and optimistic rather than risk and high schools, consultation with the local people through the stakeholder mapping. That's why I need that kind of the stakeholder, researcher, including myself, scientists, decision maker, policy maker, SDI coordinator, local fishermen, all these stakeholders are cooperated as integrated action agreement between May and client for the commitment and capacity enhancement for the sake of the community. When I implement these research tasks, I face that kind of the challenges. There are a lot of conflict between the government authorized person and local inhabitants. There was poor, poor the environmental, social, economic, ecological review procedure, and also weak safeguard on socioeconomic affairs. That's why we need to implement the new policy on some socioeconomic issue for the sake of the community. My next step with this action, I need to implement to develop information, education, communication scheme to enhance networking and capacity building with the stakeholder mapping. Finally, effective assessment and monitoring challenges. These are actually sustainable state issue in ecological, social, and environmental as an integrated way. This is my next step. I need, I would like to mention my special acknowledgement to all stakeholders, especially local fishermen community. This is my message I would like to give to you all. It's highly significant to contact the stakeholder mapping with science, technology, and innovation, SDI among scientists, researchers, policy maker, decision maker, and look at community regarding SDGs to implement tasks that will benefit the society as a whole. If you have questions, I'm very happy to answer. If you have more questions, you can kindly contact me through my email and Skype. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mimi. I'm sure that one of the questions will be, how big is that fish? <laughs> the question for you, Mimi, is when you were talking with um, the uh, fishermen and uh, in relation to the recommendation you made about regulating uh, protection for fish stocks during the breeding season to improve sustainability, what was the appetite of fishermen for more regulation or more control of um, their uh, situation, particularly given the fact that um, there was a real impact on their livelihoods. Yes, uh, the, I would like to explain about the fisherman talks. And the fisherman, the first main intention is the, to stop the IU fishing, to eliminate the battery short tide fishing in order to be sustainable state of the fishery sector. Uh, Sustainable fishery sector is a vital important for their socioeconomic incomes because they solely mainly depend on the fishing uh, fishery resource from the river. That's why this is their main intention, uh, the main income from their fishing resource in order to prevent the IU fishing, especially for the battery short type fishing. This is one tax. And the second tax is that not only the fishermen, but also the all Myanmar people want to stop the COVID crisis as well as the COVID. Thank you very much. We have a couple of really excellent questions remaining, but we are at time. And so I'm going to apologise to the people who asked those questions and just invite everyone to thank our excellent speakers for this panel.